Hey gamers, you been playing video games recently? I know I have, especially with this COVID-19 outbreak going on. Gaming has almost certainly seen an increase in activity, especially online gaming. Now, while we might have to stay home and play all these games online, and we might enjoy running away from an ever-closing circle of death in a battle royale, or holding back the murderous tendencies produced from Rocket League, how exactly did we get to this point? No, not the lockdown. How do we get to the point of being able to call your friend up and drive some virtual cars and hit some virtual balls into goals made of ones and zeros? It's a long story, but let's condense it a bit. Let's start with the easy part. When did online gaming become possible? According to the Encyclopedia Britannica, online gaming was officially created in 1980 using a technology developed in the 1970s called ARPANET, or Advanced Research Projects Agency Network, which was to say, a proto-internet. It worked by allowing users to connect computers to a central computer and transfer the data between them. The University of Essex in England was connected to this system, and before long, some clever students created a game. They would name this game MUD, or M-U-D, standing for Multi-User Dungeon. Now, all they need is other computers to connect, and would you look at that? Online gaming is officially created. Alright, now that we've got online gaming created, how did it improve all the way to the point that we have? Well, after MUD, several other games began to appear in the market. A game that appeared early on in 1986 called SGI Dogfight was the first game to use the TCP IP network structure. However, it was unable to pass through a router, so connecting to different networks was out of the question. Other games followed the example, but were not able to be played over multiple networks. In 1997, a game called Ultima Online appeared, followed by Lineage in 1998 and EverQuest in 1999. All of these games were massively multiplayer online games, or MMOs. Think early World of Warcraft type games, as WoW didn't release until 2004. After 2000, however, gaming began to surge and exponentially improve its online capabilities. In 2000, the Sega Dreamcast was released, becoming the first console to with built-in online gaming capabilities. The PlayStation 2 was released the same year, and was much more successful, also having online compatibility. Following were the Nintendo GameCube in 2001, and the infamous RuneScape game for PC. Bear with me, the list rapidly accelerates from here. 2002 brings the Xbox and Xbox Live, along with the game Halo, which spiked interest in online gaming. Then, with 2004 coming along, and its huge success of World of Warcraft by Blizzard, along with Halo 2 for the Xbox, both games created a boom for online gaming once again. 2005 brought the Xbox 360 and many games to come with it, still supporting online gaming, which at this point had become a norm. 2006 saw the Nintendo Wii released with built-in online gaming and web browser access along with it. Alongside it, the PlayStation 3 makes a debut. Nintendo created the Nintendo Network for the Wii U in 2012, followed by the Xbox One in 2013, and a year later we see the PlayStation 4. Of course, this isn't the end of online gaming evolution, and there is much more to talk about, such as being able to see your friend move around in real time while inside a VR headset. But it would take us far too long to discuss everything. It's been a wild ride to get where we are in today's gaming, and it hasn't stopped yet. Next time you go play a game with your friend online, think back and think about how it all got to this point. It's an interesting history. Thanks for watching.